and welcome. You're watching Ski Tips here on Shaw TV. My name is Leanne Evans. I'm here with Mike Ratcliffe again here at the Hidden Valley Ski Resort. Hello again. How are you doing? Very good. Thanks for having us out again. Now we're going to look more into an advanced ski tip for maybe the, little, the better skiers out there. Eh? Yeah. Well, I mean, certainly you're always learning when you're skiing. And most people, when they come to Hidden Valley, they get to a certain point and, and then they're quite comfortable on all the terrain we've got. But if you want to take that to steeper terrain, into bumpier terrain, then there's certain things that an advanced skier really needs to look towards being able to achieve. All right, so what should we be like doing? One of the biggest things I see is a lot of advanced skiers stop steering the skis. And by, by that, I mean, they don't steer all the way around the turn. They tend to twist the ski and then let it slide in a straight line and then twist the ski the other way and let it slide in a straight line. So it looks more like a zigzag than an S. Okay, so we don't want the zigzags, we want an S. Yeah. All right, so what should we be doing to make the S? Well, one of the, the biggest things we're doing is if you think about a steering wheel in a car. If I hold on to a steering wheel in a car and I want to make the car steer around a corner, I don't do this with the steering wheel. I actually have to drive it around. And it's the same with your skis. If these are my feet, I don't just twist and go. I actually have to steer them around the arc of the turn. And to do that, we have to twist and push forwards at the same time. All right, so how do we do this? Um, think about kicking a football. If I take off my skis, or at least one of my skis, if this is my downhill foot, when I'm thinking about it, it's not just turning, but kicking all the way across okay. so that I steer the ski all the way around the turn. So what should we be feeling? Um, what you tend to feel like is you get thrown off balance a little bit when you get it right. Um, and that's when we start using poles for advanced skiers. Because um, as soon as you feel that kick come around, you feel like you're kind of sitting back a little bit. And that's okay. You're allowed to feel that. Okay. So should we keep, still be keeping our shoulders over our knees, over our toes? As much as possible to help us maintain our balance. Okay. So do you just want to give us a little demonstration of how to do this? Certainly can. So I'm going to slide down the hill and then I'm going to try and steer my skis all the way around rather than twisting and stopping them. So I'm going to slide and then I'm going to steer them all the way. Okay. And it makes a nice arc. So what should our feet feel like when we're doing the S formation? Well, we've talked in previous um, tips about feeling your big toe twisting against the inside of the boot. So at the start of the turn, you're still going to feel that same thing, still the big toe. But as you come around the bottom of the turn, you're going to feel more like it's onto your arch of your foot and then a little bit onto your heel. Not like leaning all the way back on the heel, but just on the back half of the foot at the end of the turn. Okay, perfect. So this will make us, is it going to increase our speed at all? Or are we just going to, can we go at our regular pace? <laughs> what it does is it enables us to steer the skis more efficiently, get more grip, which gives us more balance. So when we end up on steeper terrain, we have more control over what the skis are doing, what the speed that we're skiing at and you know, in the direction that we're going to try and miss any bumps that we don't want or any trees that we want to go around, things like that. Okay, perfect. So why don't we uh, head down the hill and I'll give this a shot. Okay, let's do it. So now that we have come down the hill and we've learned these tips, how do we know as a skier when we can advance to the next kind of skiing style? Well, it, there's no set time, there's no set number of skills because it really is an individual thing. I mean, all, obviously, if it's if you're a discover skier, that's your very, very first time, the very next lesson you're going to have, you're going to move up to a level one because it's not your first time anymore and you don't want to be going over the very, very basics and start again. Um, beyond that, it's really when you feel ready, when you feel confident on the level of run that you're on, that you'd like to try something a little bit more difficult. And you also have to remember that a lot of the times a green run in one place is not the same as a green run somewhere else. It could be more difficult. It could even be easier. And it's the same, same goes for blues and black diamonds. So always be aware that the level of skier you are here, it might not relate to the same level somewhere else. 
And should we be fairly comfortable with the runs if, say, we're going to try the next kind of go to an intermediate style, should we maybe be a little bit more comfortable with the run we're going down? Absolutely. You know, if you're, if you're wanting to try a blue, I would certainly recommend trying a blue. And the focus is going to be speed control. Uh, and usually the first time you step up a, a level in runs, it's a bit scary the first time. Well, thank you, Mike, for having us out here and showing all these ski tips. I think that I've become a whole new skier out here. It's my pleasure. And if you'd like to find out more information about the Hidden Valley Ski Resort, you can visit their website at www.skihiddenvalley.net. We'll see you next time.